Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for October 7th, 2011 on the NASDAQ 10-day chart. We retraced so far um, close to 0.786. We broke uh, 0.618 at 2480. And um, basically tomorrow could be either a really big, important bottom day where we, we confirm the bottom or another day where uh, jobs number pushes the market down into to lower lows possibly. But uh, if this ends up being the, the big breakout day, uh, NASDAQ would gap up above 25.25 and set up a third wave. Uh, they'll, they'll break uh, 25.85, 2588. So tomorrow could be a really big day or it could be just another sell-off day. I don't even know. So the reason why I sold on all my positions right now because I don't know what the reaction is going to be and nobody knows what the reaction is going to be. Nobody, well, nobody will know. <laughs> I don't know. So if you, if I could tell you, I, I would definitely tell you. For the Dow, the Dow broke 0 0.68 around 11,000, and actually got within um, uh, 10 points of taking out 0 0.786. If we can break, uh, if we can gap up tomorrow in a, in a big rally, that could be a big turning point in this in this market, because uh, if you rack to in a in a big positive way to the job number, it would not only break 0.786 but probably possibly take out a lot. Uh, 11,350 for S&P uh, the best case scenario is that uh, there's, a, there's a strong reaction to the jobs number to the upside and we take out um, 1168 we actually got within three points of taking that out and if we take that out well there's a good possibility if we take that out with a with a, a powerful upside gap in a third wave then we can probably take out um, 1195 tomorrow but if it's just another day where we have yet another uh, sell in the news job number, then you probably get at least a wave two. So uh, tomorrow is a is could be an important day, or it could be just another day where we we correct in a wave two or or lower lows, or we gap up and then form a uh, third wave that breaks uh, the ten day highs. That's a wrap.